<laughs> home is home, and um, you know, I'm really, uh, I'm really proud of my little, of my little place, uh, and for me it's a pleasure to show you a little bit of it, so you know where I come from, and you know why being uh, working outside my my country for uh, almost uh, 20 years. Uh, I'm still a very, very proud Stubal boy. And he's a Stubal boy that I feel, that I feel here. That's the way people makes me feel. He's a loved Stubal boy, not, not what sometimes I am when I am in football or in other, in other places. In here, everybody knows me. Uh, the, all the people, they know me since I was a kid. The people from my generation, they know me from, from Zé, the way they, they, they call me. It comes from José, they call me Zé. And then the younger people, they look at me with that respect of the guy that left the city, but is one of us. So is is a place where I, I feel really in, in peace. Yeah. So, Zer has now won everything that there is to win, and more in the, the world's most popular sport. But is there still a little bit of Zer in there? Not a little bit. Uh, more than ever. More than ever. Um, and um, this is basically the first time where um, I have time to, to sink. Um, it's the first time, for example, that I am in in Stubal on the on the end of, of July or beginning of, of August. It's the first time in more than than 20 years. I, I have some time to to think, to rethink, to analyze, and what I feel is exactly that that Z full of fire because. Um, my friends, they tell me, enjoy your time. Enjoy your July, enjoy your August, enjoy what you never had. <clears throat> Honestly, I can't enjoy. Um, I'm not happy enough to enjoy. Um, I miss my, my football. I have, the, I have the fire. I have a, a compromise with, with myself, with, uh, with the people that that loves me with so many fans that I that I have around the world, so many people that I inspire. Uh, Zé has to be uh, Zé and Zé and Zé until the last day. But um, the last day, I don't even see the last day because I, I, I see like uh, my next move will be like the start. Remember me going to the, to the school with the ball under my arm, it's true. <laughs> It's true, it's true. friend. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> to see the way people speak with, with me is not like uh, Mr. Jose Mourinho. I'm not Mr. Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm Zé, you know. I'm a football coach, they are fishermen, but we are Stubal, Stubal guys. And that's what I, I really like. And so many people learned from you. Have you learned from you? I've learned from me every day. I learn from me every day, and uh, with um, with uh, the mistakes you make, you learn a lot. With the mistakes that other make, you you also learn a lot. You are going to make mistakes all the time. The point is, don't make the same mistakes. Uh, but mistakes will come again and again and uh, and again. Um, Victories are very, very important. Uh, in the end, they are, they are the, um, the consequence of your work is the things that stay, that stay forever, are the things that really stay forever in your history, in the history of football. But sometimes you, you learn more with uh, the, the difficulties. And, um, you know, um, that's the feeling the feeling that I have. You cannot lose never your identity. You are who you are. And honestly, 
I'm so happy with who I am because that's the way I am, that I come and I am who I am. But, uh, you know, there is a, a new period ahead of me. There is a new, there is a new challenge. I think many challenges ahead of me. And honestly, I look, I look to that with more enthusiasm than I stop and I look back and I think about what I did before. What I did, I did. Uh, what I did, I did. But I'm so, so motivated. And again, I repeat because my friends, they don't accept it very, very well. They want me to enjoy my time. And I just, I, I it's a little bit, a little bit difficult to be for the first time without, um, without my, without my football, without my, without my, my ambitions. At the moment, it, it would still have to be one of the big five European leagues to, to attract you, to give yeah. you the right vibe. Yeah. You yeah. would return to the Premier League if yeah. the right club available? Of course. Italy, Spain? Yeah. Germany and France? Yeah. Yes, sir. Rule everything else out at the moment? Yeah, I think so. Uh, if you tell me a club in another country uh, to fight, to be champion, to build something, uh, something special to bring that club in that country to a different to a different level maybe who knows but my focus is on on the biggest ones where the portuguese is included but i don't want to coach a portuguese club now i think i won the right to choose i think i won the right to choose and the people that is uh, that is um, morinista, like I like people say in in Portugal, in Spain, in Italy, morinista is somebody that that likes uh, is a fan. Let's say we say benfiquista, the people that loves Benfica, portista, if you love Porto, a morinista, if you love uh, uh, Mourinho. The morinistas, they 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 want me where I belong. So for me now, it's not a question just of, okay, I have this offer and I'm going to get it. I, I have to be patient and wait for the right one. And the right one is one at the dimension of what I am as a, as a manager. And I have to be patient. And that is the most difficult thing because I had the impulse during this, this period, I had the impulse so many times, yes, I go, no, I cannot go. I cannot go. I have to wait exactly for the, uh, for the right one. I never told uh, who. I never do that. Um, lots of respect for the people that think I'm the right guy for them. And I never do that. I was really surprised when uh, the Chinese come out and, and told and uh, even uh, post pictures with the... Uh, uh, with me in, in in meetings, I was really really surprised because that's not my 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 nature. But they were just one. I had so many so many possibilities to to come back. But uh, you know, I have to fight against this this will of work, and I have to to be to be patient. And I know that uh, that today we are going to speak about uh, Mr. Robson to 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 remember the 10 years of, uh, yeah. of um, Mr. Robson uh, left us. And I, I, I could imagine him uh, telling me, Jose, come on, enjoy your time. It's a great opportunity for you to learn how to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. How do you think he would have coped managing one of today's Premier League football teams, one of the top teams? You know, I, I think, uh, I still think the most important thing in a football manager is charisma. It comes in front of everything else. Academic formation, football experience, football knowledge, uh, strategies of, of leadership. You can, you can go to the uh, incredible number of sciences that in this moment can make a football manager better. Uh, above everything, charisma. And Mr. Robson was, if, if you want to give an example of a manager with charisma, Mr. Robson is for sure one that comes immediately to the, to the discussion, charisma. 
charisma and that uh, a manager with charisma 50 years ago, 30 years ago, 10 years ago, in 2030, charisma. And he was very, very, very charismatic. I would imagine my dad to say, come on, beautiful place you have in, in the beach, enjoy uh, your kids, enjoy your friends. I, 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 I can see them, but the reality is my football is my, is my football and, uh, and honestly I, I miss it.